Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back again with another video and in today's video we have an HP Spectre, Spectre XT Pro Ultra Book which is a 13.3 inch with an iCore 5 CPU with a 4 gig RAM and 128 gig SSD drive in here. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to replace or remove your internal battery on these models. Or if your battery is not holding up any more charge, this video is going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace it. Again, uh, before we start, you need few tools. Tool number one, it's an screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best screwdriver set out there. They have an S2 class steel, which that means the really hardened. And also you will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'm going to use a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick, or you can get the pro version of the iFixit, which they include you as an opening tool. But if you don't want to, just grab a simple guitar pick, a metallic one with the soft edges. These are really suitable to opening the laptop. Number one, once you power it off, you want to flip it upside down, and on the bottom cover, you're going to see a whole bunch of shiny chrome screws. These screws are, they come in two sizes, the short one and the long one. The short ones are in the front end of the laptop, the long ones are from the mid sides towards the back towards the other mid. There's one small one in the, there's one in the middle. I'm not sure if this was a short screw or long screw. So I hope you guys in the comment area will tell me that if yours is a short screw or long screw in the middle. All right. So we're going to start removing all the screws from the back bottom of the laptop, the short ones first. Also, I realized that there's only one person of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. It will be a really great help and support if you guys could subscribe or click that like button on the videos. I would really appreciate it. So I'm keeping them in two different piles. And once you remove the screws on, on the bottom cover, obviously the middle one too, you want to start on uh, from the front end, grab the opening tool or guitar pick, put on the top and the bottom cover right there and then you just want to wiggle around twist it go all around in the front go a little bit to the side you do not want to do the audio jack end you just want to do where the hdmi ports are just start it from here twist 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 go all the way to the back corner make sure you don't click and then next you want to do the back end Once you twist it and remove the back and the sides and the front, all you need to do is to grab it, hold it down, lift up from where the HDMI ports are, twist it around and bring it towards the jack and release the bottom cover. Once we remove here, and we're gonna see the big, huge, humongous battery right in front of you. This is a 14.8 volt, 45 watt hour battery. The model number for this one is an HD04XT. I'll try to find the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description. All right, to remove the battery, first we need to disconnect the battery. Usually you should be able to disconnect it by pulling this uh, ribbon cable back, but not always works well. So what you need to do is a pair of tweezers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it from the sides here towards the back end a little bit and do a little bit the other side and back on this side. Now I'm going to help it out and pull it out. Once we did that, we need to remove some screws. The one right here. The one right, this one doesn't have any. So go on the bottom side and remove the corner ones. And that should be all. Once you remove the three screws, the battery should come out pretty easy. So lift it up, and there is your humongous battery. So grab the new battery, make sure the positive, the red ones are separated like that. If yours is like this, just separate them. And this is your BIOS battery. If your BIOS is not holding any charge, but you want to reset the BIOS, just disconnect this jack, pull this cable back, and that's it. All right, to put the new battery in, imagine that you got the new one in, bring it over, align it, 
the screw holes and put it in. Put the three screws, one on each corner of the bottom of the battery, and one right by the jack right there. And the last thing is to grab the connector and slide it right into the jack and push it all the way in. And align the cables, make sure the cables are tucked in nicely. Once you finish with that, just grab the top power, bring it over, make sure the audio jack goes down first. And then you just want to push the sides, the front end, and the last thing would be to put the bottom screws. The longest screws at the back by the hinges to the sides, and the short one in the front. And don't forget to let me know about the middle screw. Again, I really appreciate your support to the channel, and I hope this video helped you guys to do your own uh, replacement for the battery. And as always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.